Welcome to a new issue of the Indicator Spotlight. This is where we feature indicators from our new trade rate library. Short video, about 10, 15 minutes with a brief explanation of the main indicator concept, the most important functions and how you can use it in a trading setup along with a download link to the indicator featured. And this time around, we're looking at the Camarilla pivot points modified version of the classic pivot uh, indicator. We often get questions on how these are different from one another, and uh, we'll get uh, into that uh, in a little bit. Uh, let's just first uh, look at why there is a air of mystery surrounding the Cam Camarilla pivots. The most likely culprit, uh, I think, is the meaning behind the word. Camarilla originates from Spain and refers to a group of advisors to a king or a ruler. Exactly who the king or a ruler might be is uh, unclear, but uh, I think we can suspect Nick Scott, who introduced uh, the concept in the late uh, 80s as uh, one possibility. Um, but there is also a, another likely candidate for being the king or the ruler of the Camarilla levels, namely the last session's close. Why? Well, because in a nutshell, Camarilla levels are all based uh, on the last session's uh, range and the position of the close. The range is uh, simply the difference between the high and the low. Uh, so here we have a, a range of, of 10. So the support and resistance levels are uh, then calculated by subtracting uh, or adding yesterday's range from or to the prior close. Uh, the formula applies a slightly expanded range. We see here factor 1.1 and a sequence of numbers, namely 2, 4, 6, and 12 to determine how far removed from the close the levels are placed. And here we see that applied, both of 107, and so we see here that the most important levels or the ones that are most significant in terms of relation to the range is the fourth and the third support and resistance levels. These first and second levels are quite close to the main pivot. So to distinguish between range and directional setups, so we're looking to see if uh, the open lies uh, within or outside the third uh, supports or resistance levels. A market that opens within uh, that area is considered uh, range bound, whereas uh, if you open above or below the third support resistance levels, uh, we have a directional bias. And so that is also why we've added the uh, green and red plots here to highlight uh, the importance of the third support resistance levels. And um, we see also here the open increased the vis visibility by using a one minute uh, opening range for the regular session in a golden plot using the premium opening range indicator. So in other words, other than Nick Scott and, and the close, a third possible ruler of the Camarilla points here uh, is uh, the open of the current session. So as I mentioned, the market uh, that opens within the third uh, support resistance levels is considered range bound. And you can then consider reversal setups that intersect with the uh, uh, daily S3, S4, R3, and R4 levels. In this example, we have a five minute uh, chart for the NASDAQ uh, contract showing the regular open within uh, the third support resistance zone. And at the first uh, intersection with the uh, third level, we had a short reversal opportunity identified by our auction bars indicator. And although this setup failed, another short reversal opportunity at the fourth level that went uh, all the way down to the um, fourth support level, at which point a bullish reversal setup was spotted. And uh, that bullish pattern would have been a good exit point for the short trade here. Or 
the long re-entry opportunity. And to consider directional trades, uh, the market has to open outside the supports and resistance zones. And uh, in this example, we uh, have again a five minute chart of the NASDAQ uh, futures contract, regular open below the third support level, indicating a bearish market. And once the market retraces back into uh, this zone here, the auction bars identified a short reversal opportunity consistent with this bearish bias. Uh, the market then went on to test uh, support at the regular open here, as well as uh, towards the prior low. Uh, that would have both been a good exit opportunities uh, for this scenario. And here's an example from the uh, Euro futures contract. Again, five minute charts, regular open above the uh, third resistance level, indicating a bullish bias. And once the market uh, retraced uh, back into the third resistance level, we uh, had a bullish reversal pattern identified by the auction bars, consistent uh, with the bullish bias. Um, and although both of these moves here fizzled out, uh, two profitable trades uh, would have still been made with the uh, proper trade management. And if you're interested to see how uh, you can set this up with the uh, Bloodhound from Shark Indicators, I'll uh, do a follow up uh, on this video sometime next week, showing how to call the uh, Camarilla support resistance uh, levels as they intersect with signals from the auction bars indicator. And finally, the comparison to the classic uh, pivot levels. One major difference is the pivot uh, itself. For the traditional calculation, you have the high and the low and the close divided by three. And uh, that will then be the main pivot in addition to the pivot range. And uh, you'll have support and resistance levels above and below the main pivot also mainly based on the range, the distance between the first resistance and the first support level equals uh, yesterday's range. And also the second support and resistance level, the distance from the main pivot to those levels equal yesterday's range. So with that, we'll wrap up this indicator spotlight highlighting where to pick up your free download for the Camarilla Pivots daily. That would be in the session tools category. And we also offer weekly, monthly, and end monthly Camarilla indicators. And uh, some other session tools include um, rolling pivots, hourly pivots, the opening range, range projections, as well as the TVAP and VVAP indicators. In total, our library has uh, 145 plus indicators, all available for a one-time payment of only 195 bucks. So that's for all, not each indicator. And it's a one-time flat fee, not a monthly recurring subscription. If you like the indicator spotlight newsletter and you want to see more of them, make sure to subscribe to the channel here. Give my video a thumbs up or leave me a comment feedback is always good to let me know that you're out there. Uh, appreciate you taking the time and tuning in and stay tuned for that blood on tutorial next week, showing how to use these levels uh, together with our premium auction bars indicator. Until then, have a great rest of the week and uh, looking forward to hearing from you sometime soon. Take care and bye-bye.